that's why I, I, I collided so much with people. They didn't know that. I collided with three of my own players. I put two of them in the hospitals too, you know, because I couldn't pull up. But I used to have to warn them, now don't keep in front of me. I can't pull up at top pace and I, and I can't turn off you, so, so be careful. It was the dire toughness, the run-through, bone-jarring shirt front that left opposition players in a heap, that led sports writer John Ludlow to christen him Captain Blood after the Hollywood swashbuckler of the time, Errol Flynn. The name just stuck. Smack in the mouth. Your nose is gone, it's moved to the west, and your collarbone's gone due south. Now you just ask his little mate Lou, who's never been a liar. You are never safe from Captain Blood, the infamous Jack Dye. The image suited Jack just fine. From 1937 to 1940, he was Richmond's champion player. He remains the only man to have won the club best and fairest four times in succession. What I miss too in football is after the match, the team should go into one another's rooms, have a drink, no arguments, and just say, next time I'm going to kick 